Okay, today we're going to fix, it's called an extrusion on the dishwasher. You can see mine cracked. I tried to fix it with a couple of screws, but as you can see, uh, the crack just kept coming. So I went ahead and bought a replacement. I've already taken out uh, the screws. One, two, three, four, five. I have one left to take out. I want you to know that there's two sizes of screws. The short screw actually goes at the bottom. There's two bottom ones, and then the long ones go here. So just pay attention to that, that you keep the shorter screws out of the way. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to pull this off. Pay attention to the electronic components. And this is what... Oops, there it goes. This is what your dishwasher looks like on the inside. Fun, huh? Okay, returning. I'm a dork. See that latch up there? Yeah, that'll keep the top part uh, from falling down. We do still have a spring in the corner, so I'm still having challenges here. Uh, there's some clips. You can see. Maybe you can see. There's a little lip type clip that holds the electronic component in, plus another screw back here. So basically, wherever you see screws, unscrew them, but keep them separate because they're a different size than what holds the plastic onto your face. Okay, clever that I am. I put a couple cookbooks on there to hold that down. So I took out these two screws, one here, one here, here, and here. And this is actually going to slide forward like that. You see it sliding out. It's kind of black, but nonetheless, it's going to slide out. And then we're going to still have our electronic component to deal with. There's tabs here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unclip these black clips. I'm going to pull them forward so I can take the computer brain out. And over here, I'm going to remove this whole, everything white. I'm going to take out the white section. And to take out the electrical junction, there's a tab. Let me put it back in. Wait for it to focus. Focus. There it goes. You can see a tab. Push in. Here a click. There's one on the other side, too. It's too dark unless we put a light down there. Ta-da! Now I can get to that last screw. Okay, so here's the old piece, broken parts. I've got the old and new piece lined up next to each other. This was the um, actuator arm and spring that I used for my existing piece. I'll give you parts numbers. This is P2, but I'll get you part numbers down in the description below. So. There's a post, a second post, a spring, and it's pretty simple. It's just going to pop on and off uh, because of how simply it's done and I don't have anything screwed on to show you. So again, just a simple little hook and hook. Put one end on the post. Take the other, stretch it out get it to that post that's actually going to be screwed down here shortly. Pull that bad boy up. So I'm going to uh, attach by sliding um, in between, I don't know if you can see, the bracket and the face of the dishwasher. And I'm going to slide this in and then uh, affix with those couple screws. Like we okay. So I've gone ahead and I've anchored it with that back screw. That way the front the front screw will line up pretty easily. Okay, so remember how we had those tabs on the electronic components. So we have the tabs that need to slide into the slots. And I can't do this again with one hand, so I'll be back. Okay, back again. So tabs now. One tab. Two tabs. Three tabs. 
three tabs in. Now what's holding us up is again the clips. It's hard to see because they really don't look like a clip, but they are. That's one of the clips right there. I'm get in behind it, maybe you can see. Okay, so I wanted everybody to see how this works. Again, I just went and got a table knife, since I am in the kitchen. There's a clip here. All right, there's a small, small part that sticks out, and it makes uh, it's good because it'll hold it in place. It's a little bit of a challenge, which after you do it once or twice, easier to go in. So now that we've got the electronics slid back into with their tabs, and we've got the front face on the clips. Here. So, clip here and here. This gets tricky in about three seconds when I let go because the, the computer component, uh, the motor component here, is going to sit. That little circle dot goes on top of this stem. This tab is going to go in that slot back there. See that slot? And you can, there's a slot. So again, put the computer brain back in. But there is that tab. Cords go underneath the component when you lay it in here. You match up the stems. I don't even know if you can see the stems, it's so dark. The stems with the obvious tabs for the screw heads. Again, that dot is gonna match up to this component over here. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Tab, yay! Make sure these cords get out of the way because they go back into this clip for the junction. I'm trying to move gingerly, very slowly, so that that spring doesn't pop off. Again, these are plastic. You know, they're pretty close, but they're not perfect. So you may have to put some pressure on that stem and put some pressure on there because this doesn't line up perfectly. So, okay. Uh, got the screw in place. Got that screw in. See it? Focus. There it goes. This screw in. Made sure this top of where the screw attached, that post is in there and the slot is in place. We've got the juncture box put back together. I've got the cables out of the way. Next thing to do is to take a couple more screws and again just line up the posts, the post down there, not that you can see it, and the little tabs with a couple more screws. We're going back. Screws now in place. Okay, next two screws here and actually I'm going to undo that junction box again so I get to it easier and there. Voila. Okay, everything's dying. Battery on the phone died, or uh, camera died, battery on the drill died. So where I left us, honestly. Ugh. I want to just point out a couple things you need to watch for. Getting this back in through the slot. And making sure your handle comes through the front so that you can actually screw this back together. And all you do is screw back together in the same places. Remember the short screws go on the far end, the long screws go everywhere else.